No wedlock bonds on wreath our twisted loves. We seek no midnight arbor, no dark groves to hide our kisses there. The hatred name of husband, wife, lust, modest, chaste, or shame. Ah, uh, vain and empty words whose very sound was never heard in the Elysian ground. All things are lawful there that might delight nature or unrestrained appetite. Like and enjoy, to will and act is one. We only sin when love's rites are done. The Roman Lucrece there reads the divine lectures of love's great master, Arentine and knows as well as Laius how to move our, her pliant body in the act of love. To quench the burning ravisher, she hurls her limbs into a thousand winding curls and studies artful postures, such as be carved on the bark of every neighboring tree by learned hands that so adorn the rind of those fair plants which, as they lay entwined, have fanned their glowing fires. The Grecian name that in her endless web toil for a name as fruitless as her work doth there display herself before the youth of Ithaca and the amorous sport of game some knights prefer before dull dreams of the lost traveller. Daphne hath broke her bark and that swift foot which the angry gods had fastened with a root to the fixed earth doth now unfettered run to meet the embraces of the youthful sun. She hangs upon him like his Delphic leer. Her kisses blow the old and breathe new fire full of her god. She sings inspired lays. Sweet odes of love such as deserve the bays, which she herself was. Next her, Laura lies in Petrarch's learned arms, drying those eyes that did in such sweet, smooth pace numbers flow as made the world enamored of his woe. These and ten thousand beauties more that died, slave to the tyrant now enlarged, deride his cancelled laws, and for their time misspent pay into love's exchequer double rent. Come then, my Celia, we'll no more forbear to taste our joys struck with a panic fear, but we'll depose from his imperious sway this proud usurper, and walk free as they with necks, unyoked, nor is it just that he should fetter your soft sex with chastity, which nature made unapt for abstinence, when yet this false impostor can descend with human justice, and with sacred right and maugre both their laws command me fight with rivals or with emulous loves that dare equal with thine their mistress's eyes or hair if thou complain of wrong and call my sword to carve out thy vengeance Upon that word he bids me fight and kill, or else he brands with marks of infamy my coward hands, and yet religion bids from bloodshed fly, and damns me for that act. Then tell me why this goblin honor, which the world adores, should make men atheists and not women whores. <laughs> 